He bent time, and he was doing it while sitting in the Burn Patent Office. Imagine Burn around 1905, narrow streets, the R River sparkling, and by a window, a young clerk is writing down thoughts bigger than his room. While stamps are clacking, in his mind he's chasing a beam of light, comparing clocks at train stations, wondering what a falling elevator tells us about gravity. Trains meeting each other. Observers disagreeing. Time no longer sacred. Meanwhile, insights are growing. Space becomes stretchy. Mass can turn into energy. Speed shifts what we think of as simultaneous. That's why our gut feeling gets flipped, but the world suddenly makes more sense. Stars bend light. Navigation satellites correct their timing because time moves differently up there. In the end, a quiet lesson remains. Big ideas don't have to be loud. They grow from persistence, from curious questions, and sometimes from a desk full of files. And now for something many people don't know. In 1952, Israel offered Albert Einstein the position of president, which he politely declined. Comment if you want more relativity.